Schumer Pie dropping us a new image. This time it's called the Shoe Me. It's version 1.5. Now, if you just got Shepherd's Pie last month, it dropped early February 2021. You're all good. There's a small add-on pack that you could choose to do that has. It's called Shepherd's Pie Service Pack. You can find that on backups.me. I'm sure eventually it'll be on Arcade Punks, and you can just update your current version. Schumer's Pie image is awesome. It's a Raspberry Pi 4 image. Rocket Nintendo C4, Naomi, I believe it's pre-overclocked, is running really good. You'll see with Dreamcast performance, uh, PSP performance, running really good. Nice theme, custom artwork, custom loading screens. It's awesome, right? So back to the gist of it. If you have Shepherd's Pie, the, the one that you got earlier in February, you can easily just upgrade it. Or he re-released this image called Shoe Me, which I'm running. I'm just running the re-release. Um, and it's called, uh, the file name is called Shoe Me. It's no longer a 256 gigabyte image. It's now about 270 gigabytes. So, which kind of is not is unfortunate because now you have to buy a 400 gigabyte SSD or you have to get a, um, you have to get a, uh, a hard drive and put it on a hard drive. But as you can see here, it's got the control panel all set up, you know, with how super really, really tricked out image. I gave this image a really great review before and what he's done now, if you're wondering, well, what's the difference? Well, he there was, there was actually a couple of video snaps and things that were broken. You can still hit, you can still go to your screensavers over here and check out screensavers and stuff. He added, according to him, all the missing snacks, snap, uh, video snaps, mix, uh, box art, uh, game descriptions fix, added Easter eggs, added more Nintendo 64, more Dreamcast, more PlayStation, and wait for it, Amiga 1200. So if we go back here, you'll see Amiga 1200. And I think he was talking about this in his pre-built image and now it's finally here. And total 2,000 Amiga 1200 games. Let's go through it, let's check it out. Remember there's collections, you can turn them off really easily. He's got his favorites, really good games. This is not a all game image, it's a best of the best image. Uh, you know, hand selected games, it's not just everything. Nice. All right, so now that you saw the boot video, really beautiful, really clean. All games is rocking 6,782. It's gotta be multiple thousand more just in Amiga, but it's gotta be like two, like about 2,200 more or so games. Only one new system, but a lot more games. Arcade Classic got 1,250. Really nice arcade set. Um, it's got even the Verse games on here. It's a really nice arcade set, except I guess if I was to knock it a little bit, I was going through his light gun collection of games. He has a lot of light gun games for um, other systems, but for, oh, there's some mature games, for um, other uh, uh, arcade, like it's missing some games in my opinion. Like I think there's a lot more light gun games for the arcade classic section here that are not included on this image. Um, not necessarily like Area 51, although that's one. It doesn't really necessarily run that great. But then there's, um, I, I just can't think of the names, right? Like Zombie Raid, there's uh, Lucky and Wild. There's there's a bunch of them that I just, I'm drawing a blank right now. But um, if you really want to make this a light gun image, there's, there's watch my light gun videos. There's quite a bit of other games not included that do run on the Raspberry Pi 4. Atari 2600, a Thomas Wave 20. Dreamcast 69, let's go through these. The Thomas Wave 20 is pretty much the same 20 that's on every image. I don't see a lot of variation there. I do see some variation with uh, Dreamcast. Dreamcast was running groovy like butter. I'm gonna play some Marvel vs. Capcom 2 in this video and um, great, really good stuff. Virtual Tennis, some really good games there for Dreamcast. Game Gear 275, Game Boy 77, Game Boy Advance 374, 
Color 5152, Genesis 5582. And I don't think there's any like um, hack games on here. I think it's primarily all primary games. 259 on Sega Master System. So Nintendo 4, this where added a bunch of more games. I, I mean, I like to see this. A lot of these Nintendo 4 games run well on an overclocked Pi 4. I play, um, I played Wave Race earlier. It's not in this video, but I was playing it earlier. And then also, uh, I forget what I was playing. Oh, uh, the uh, Namco game. Naomi got 27 games. That's pretty cool. I should play Marvel with Capcom 2 on this one. Neo Geo, 140. A lot of them there. Those run just fine. Neo Geo City, 40. And I believe like the games that are missing on Neo Geo, he has them on Neo Geo CD. So like Metal Slug 1 and 2 are there. And then I think like over here, Metal Slug 3, 4, and 5. Let's go down there. Oh no, he has a he has a dupe, he has both. I noticed on um, two plays, it, it's a little different. So he does run a two play base image. So you know, and I just did a review on two plays image, and I think that's what a lot of people are going to ask me, or maybe they're not, and I'm just going to say it, which is you know, what's a better image? Is it the two play image? Is it the Rick Dangerous image? Is it the Virtual Man image? I don't put Virtual Man in these conversations because. His image is kind of like a him and and Wolfenos. They kind of have with their with their one terabyte builds now. They literally have the ultimate every single game you can possibly think of images running on really solid base images. So I don't really put that in the comparison. But what these three gentlemen are doing is they are absolutely putting in um, like their favorites, what they like better. And so that's when you got to watch these videos and see which game collections you like better. But as far as a base image, it looks like all three of those gentlemen are using two plays base image, in case you're wondering. Um, there's a lot of customization though in the looks, the games they choose to pick, the themes, the uh, loading screens, uh, the background music they chose, all, all kinds of stuff like that. PlayStation 289. So here's where you add a bunch of, look, like, I think this is every Army Man game ever made for, I didn't even realize they made that many games. We'll go through these. I'll, I'll read to you while we're going through these what he wrote. Um, he recommends a 3.5 amp power supply. I run a 3 amp and it works just fine, just in case you're wondering. Um, this image that I'm on right now, remember, it's no longer 256 gigabyte. You're going to need like a 400 gigabyte or better. A lot of people ask if this is going to work for the Pi 400. I believe so. I, I don't have one at the moment to test it on. You might have to update your firmware first in order for it to work. Um, he definitely recommends cooling, as I noted. Uh, it has RetroPi 4.7.2. This is a personal build. Uh, his concept, I wanted to create one-stop shop as far as retro games was concerned. For years, I had a vision of what bite-sized retro gaming console could be, but I couldn't realize it because the tech or the software limitations until now. Many, many thanks to the, the legion, legend of the like-minded enthusiasts who pushed the community uh, and the software. The pandemic has hurt us all, so I decided to go full steam with building my final product. I spent many nights rendering graphics for launching videos, researching and testing how to launch them the way I wanted, editing audio for videos, rendering graphics, modifying themes, editing game lists, finding videos, and cutting them down to 30 second snaps, copying, backing up, testing, deleting, consulting, troubleshooting, hiding Easter eggs. Yeah, I have to look for more of these Easter eggs. I did all this because I'm passionate about gaming, I'm passionate about what I do, I'm persistent with my vision, I believe anything can be achieved as long as you push the boundaries. Originally, I did this all by myself, but think after a while, uh, there are we're makers and gamers. I hope this image finds you well. So RetroPie built on top of base image of Play, Playbox version two, two play emulation station front end up to date RetroArch cores and standalone emulators included like Redream and PPSSPP. I'll get back to that. So you change this to how, but you know, as you can see here, it's got all the good stuff. If you're interested in light guns, there's the there's the aim track thing here. I still don't have I this doesn't work for me myself, in case you're wondering, but maybe someone else can get that to work. Maybe they'll finally update that script. Um, here's the playbox toolkit. You get a lot more here, a lot more editing and stuff. You get fixes, apps, tweaks, things like that. So really cool. You can get into that. I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long, so we're not gonna get into that. Scum VM, you got 26 games, Sega 32X, 35, Sega CD, Super Nintendo, 533. Solaris, 10, Turbo 16, 94. And then let's go just go through these really quick, uh, the different collections. And remember, you can turn these on or off as much as you want. Um, 
so this is Hersey's unified theme with Schumer's uh, design launch videos and things. Uh, additional features, Cody Steam, Open Bore, Pizza Oven, Macintosh Ready. Uh, experimental features, Pie Kiss, Jukebox, Particle Accelerator. Okay, and then he lists all of his other things. Uh, screen aspect ratio, I've set them all to widescreen except arcades and a couple others because I like it that way. Want to change it? For most emulators, hit select and X at the same time. Press B to back out to one menu. Press select video options, scaling, and change it from 16.9 back to core provided. 16.9 is means aspect ratio is widescreen. This is a good note that he put in here. Use the power supply. Use the HDMI port closest to your power supply. Yes, people do not use the other one. Notes, collections I've done, and that's what we're looking at right now is the collections. I've done my best to load you up with as many collections as I had the energy for, and they're all enabled from the start so you can see which ones are loaded with selections. Once you know what you want to keep and hide, you can simply hide them. And all you do is you hit start over here and go ahead and, and uncheck these. Okay. Um, updates, they happen frequently, and he updates this. I, like I said, I'm on backups, not me. He's got a whole section over there. I'm sure arcade punks will get these as well. And then, uh, okay, cool. Some links, he leaves his Facebook page. Uh, he's got a Discord as well. Cool. So without further ado, let's play some games. So my final thoughts, I mean, it's awesome that he, you know, anytime somebody goes in that already has a really great image and then updates it, I'm all for it. I love it. This image is not very big. Uh, some things that I would like to see. One, if you're going over 256, just go straight for 400 gigabytes. Load this baby up. Uh, don't necessarily load up with junk, but I think there's some things missing here. You know, like I said, those, those light gun games, I think you'll find a good dozen or so that you're missing if you really do want I don't know if you shoot light guns or not, but that might be something to do. 
Um, but then also, like, think about some of the larger games like PlayStation, Dreamcast, PSP. I know there's some really good ones for those. You can also consider, like, Nintendo DS um, and some other systems as well that are not on here. <clears throat> Back to the question of, okay, well, which of the three should I get? Should I get the two play? Should I get the Rick Dangerous? Or should I get this one? Honestly, I got to give them all, like, it's like choosing your favorite child at this point. I, I don't think one is necessarily inferior to the other. They're all really, really great. I mean, the evolution of this whole scene and, and what we've made is just crazy. Um, you know, you have more content, more Easter eggs to find, more stuff than anything you've ever experience before in your life it's amazing so with all that said thank you i appreciate all the hard work schumer and everyone else in the community really awesome stuff that's what i think let me know y'all think don't forget to like subscribe we'll catch you on the next one oh that was pretty good